<laughs> so uh, we've worked on the body motion. We want to maintain our posture. So this is a great drill for you guys. What we found out is if we turn our shoulders and point them down at the ground, our head isn't gonna move off the ball. So if I can turn my shoulders correctly and keep turning on the finish, we're gonna be able to hit the same spot on the ground. If we can get that our posture and our setup correct, these are just good, good little things to practice. Um, next time you come out and practice, kind of do this for a few minutes. And also make sure your setup's correct so we're clubs parallel to the ground, weights in the balls of our feet. The next part I want to talk about is ball position. Why we want to move the ball around in our stance. So if I start moving the ball around in my stance, if you guys want to stand over here and watch, basically I can play the ball from any three of these positions. If I want to hit it high, I'm going to play it farther forward. If it's farther forward, I'm going to hit it with the most loft. I'm going to be able to keep accelerating. If I play from the middle, my stance is about my average shot if I'm just hitting a normal shot into the green. If I play it farther back, maybe off my back foot, I'm going to be coming down with the handle the most forward, hitting down the most, and this ball is going to go the lowest. The other part of this, when I play the ball farther back, I'm actually hitting down on it more and out, so it's easier to draw the ball. Anytime you want to draw the ball, put it farther back in your stance. It's easier to draw. Anytime you want to fade the ball, when we have the ball farther forward in our stance, the club's actually swinging farther left, so it's easier to fade. So anytime you got to fade the ball, move it a little farther forward, just a little trick to moving the ball around. But let's work on a Let's do this, we'll hit three or four from the back, three or four from the middle, three or four from the front, and then we'll, and then we'll hit some shots working the ball. So we'll, let's try to vary our ball flight, moving it back. If you guys want to grab like seven or eight irons and do this with, move it back for a few, move it in the middle, move it farther forward to see if you can get different heights. It's going to help you guys when you get in situations on the golf course where you need different trajectories. Make sense? Yep. Situational golf.